After a tough childhood and a tumultuous relationship with the notorious B.I.G., Lil' Kim's fans were hopeful that one day she would find true love. When Kim finally introduced the world to her new boyfriend, a new man named Jeremy Neal, also known as Mr. Papers, everyone was happy for her. Thank you, baby. I love you so much. But it didn't take long for their romance to turn into a hot mess with numerous breakups and some crazy allegations. Before we get started, don't forget to grab something to eat at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of delicious brisket beef jerky, bacon jerky, and popcorn. Mr. Papers was born in Honduras and moved to the Bronx as a child. He told Respect Magazine he started rapping on July 1st, 2006, which just so happened to be the same day someone very close to him lost their life. Papers eventually became known around New York for his freestyle skills and built up a solid career in the music industry prior to meeting the Queen Bee. In December 2009, he welcomed his first child with a woman named Millie Cologne. Their relationship didn't last, and Millie moved on and has since started a family with New York rapper Dave East. It's unclear exactly where or how they met, but by June 2012, 37-year-old Kim and 24-year-old Papers were officially an item. And six months later, Kim took to her Twitter account to announce she was single. In a tweet addressed to her fans, she wrote that she and Mr. Papers were officially over and there was no bad blood between them. Less than a week later, she hopped back on Twitter to announce she and Papers had their differences, but they were back together and very much in love. By this point, there were red flags all over the place. Their relationship was starting off on a shaky foundation, but we still had hope that things would work out for them. In February 2013, they made sweet music together by collaborating on a remix of Rihanna's song, Pour It Up. Things were very quiet for the remainder of 2013, and then in February 2014, Kim popped up at New York Fashion Week with a baby bump, and she told reporters she was excited to be a mom. Many people speculated that Floyd Mayweather was her baby's daddy, since they had a very close relationship. Kim didn't reveal the child's father, but by the very next day, Papers had gone on a media tour to announce he was the daddy. You are the father. So congratulations is in order. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh, no, well, let's make sure we make it official. <laughs> what? Congratulations. So from the mouth of Mr. Papers to the ears of the entire world, you are the father of little Kim's baby. That's my wife. That's my baby. He gave interviews to several websites and radio shows and also took the time to retweet several congratulatory tweets and stories about him coming forward as Kim's baby daddy. According to E! News, he also tweeted out his email address in case any media outlets had questions for him pertaining to Kim's pregnancy. On June 9, 2014, Kim gave birth to their daughter, Royal Rain, and two months later, Kim and Papers broke up due to allegations of infidelity. After ending their relationship, Kim reportedly refused to allow Papers to see their child which prompted him to seek assistance from family court. According to Bossip, papers filed for visitation rights to be allowed to spend one day per week with his daughter. The judge granted him visitation and also mandated that a court-approved monitor supervise his visitation. Kim reportedly didn't show up for their hearing, but after the judgment was made, she filed a domestic dispute against papers, claiming he laid hands on her during their relationship. Papers denied the allegation and said it was a ploy to keep him from seeing his child. His lawyer told Bossif that Kim and Papers' relationship had been troubled from the start, and it was a constant power struggle with the challenges pertaining to infidelity. But his lawyer made it clear that Papers' new focus was on being a good father. But the drama continued. After Kim posted a picture of herself and Floyd Mayweather online, along with the caption expressing how much she loved him, Papers went for the jugular. He took to his Instagram and posted a racy picture of Nicki Minaj, knowing good and well that Kim and Nicki had beef. Kim's fans weren't amused by this stunt either even though they were sure Papers did it out of retaliation. But that wasn't all. One day after Kim called Trey Songz her future baby daddy, 
Papers posted a photo of himself with a dancer wearing a bikini. In August 2015, Papers was feeling remorseful and publicly apologized to Kim for acting out on social media. In an Instagram post, he called Kim his best friend and the only girl he would ever love. He also told his followers he only lashed out at her because he was angry to see her out with other men. On the bright side, Papers revealed that they were a family again and Kim was allowing him to spend time with their daughter. The happy times didn't last long. He and Kim were having constant arguments, which prompted Papers to pack up and move to Miami to clear his head. He told Bossip that he was so frustrated with dealing with Kim that he had to move away to clear his mind. He worked on music with other artists like Tory Lanez, and by March 2017, he was feeling better and was back in New York. He and Kim were in a much better place as well, although they weren't officially back together. He gave their fans some insight into their struggles when he sampled the song Kissing You by Toto, and in the lyrics, he rapped about how hard it was to be faithful. He dedicated another song to Kim in October 2018. Besides the pigs cuffing me, I just want to see my daughter, but you got custody. And you the best mother in the world, but she's still going to be daddy's little girl. Pray for me. In November 2019, it appeared that Kim was completely done with papers and his BS. She went public with a new man who identified himself as the great leader, a CEO of a record label. On his Instagram account, he called Kim a beautiful soul and said they were so much alike. A month later, she revealed on her Instagram that she and her man had been house hunting and she was thinking about relocating from New York to Atlanta so she can be with him. But when the pandemic hit, it put a damper on their long distance romance. According to sources, Kim and the great leader broke up sometime in the spring of 2020. Months later, she was back with Mr. Papers. As of this video, they've been spending a lot of quality time together as a family. In July 2020, he even announced in an Instagram comment that they were working on having a second child. During an August 2020 appearance on Fat Joe's Instagram Live, Kim said she and Papers were a freaky and kinky couple, and they were thinking about setting up an OnlyFans account. OnlyFans gained popularity at the start of the quarantine as a platform for fans to pay for access to uncensored content from many different types of celebrities for a monthly fee. Yeah, we're thinking of doing it. like I. It's probably 75, 85%, 85% gonna happen. We're thinking of doing it. We're in talks with them again. <laughs> Many of Kim's fans were disappointed that she would go that route, but her fans will be happy to know that as of this video, she and Papers have refrained from opening up an account on the explicit platform. Kim and Papers' relationship has gone through it all, but these days, they are stronger than ever. They refer to each other as husband and wife, but it's unclear they've legally tied the knot. Either way, we're glad they've been able to work out their public battles, and we wish them many more years of love and happiness. If you've enjoyed this video, let us know down below, and thanks for watching RRG.